Today we're gonna go over changes and additions that need to come to Godfall and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. So, after playing Godfall and beating the campaign, I started to think a lot about the game and what it's missing. Given that this is a new IP for the PlayStation 5 and considered a quote unquote launch title, the developers had a hard release date. What this actually means is that Sony told them, hey, this is when the PlayStation 5 is coming out. Your game needs to be ready before that date. Here are all the tools that we can give you. Good luck. Granted, that's probably not what Sony actually said, but that's pretty much what has to happen when you have a launch title coming out with a new console. Now, Counterplay Games considers Godfall an action RPG, yet it is missing a lot of the elements that make an RPG an RPG, from which I will be going over in this video. So, Godfall can take a player from 10 to 20 hours in order to complete the game. Now, these numbers are based on how much grinding a player does in between each mission. After the campaign is completed, you have the end game content, um, that is pretty much the Dreamstones, which is a more difficult version of some of the missions in the story. And once we reach or get close to level 50, we then have the Ascended Tower of Trials, which is just a more difficult version of the Tower of Trials. But that's it. We are going to talk about what I think should come to the game, but not just the end game, the entire game. I don't know how many times I was the host of a game and my teammates were kicked while we were in the world or towards the end of a boss fight. The same thing happened to me when I wasn't the host. So what causes this issue? Well, there could be multiple reasons why this happens. It could be user connection issues. It could be server connection issues at counterplay games. Your ISP's power could have went out or it could have been something on Sony's end. Anything could have happened and the most that we can do is pretty much just submit a report with a screenshot or a video when prompt to do so on the PS5. That's great and all, but we don't actually know what fixes are going to be done to prevent this from happening in the future. So that's something that definitely needs to change. One thing that I thought was kind of odd and godful was that the godsmith Xenon didn't really do much of anything besides give you the flame to unlock the forge and talk to you. According to the lore, Xenon is a godsmith, which is technically a gunsmith, except Xenon didn't actually make any weapons. He didn't even sell them or give you one after reaching a certain level. So, after opening the forge, Xenon was pretty much useless. I definitely think that the developers should have gave Xenon more use. He could have even made weapons and we could have bought weapons he made using different world currencies. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened and hopefully that changes in the next expansion. As you know, Godfall is a looter slasher RPG and yes, swords, do blades, pole arms do a lot of that slashing, but there are other weapons out there that slash as well. So the question of why didn't Counterplay Games incorporate axes does come to mind. Yes, it would have been another type of weapon, but gamers love variety, especially in an RPG. But let us digress. If not being able to buy or make weapons, then we should be able to trade weapons with our friends, right? This has worked in many other games. However, it has also became an issue in games as well. The reason why this was an issue is because players who actually had the time to grind would exploit the currency and would request an insane amount of money for weapons, items, etc. that were rare and it made it almost impossible for the casual players to actually get their hands on it. At least if you were able to trade with a friend, they wouldn't rape you on the currency or materials. I mean, they wouldn't if they were a real friend. I do want to apologize because I am hitting a lot of things when it comes to weapon issues, but what about locking and unlocking weapons, items, etc.? Currently, the game has several weapons that are locked and cannot be deleted. There have been times where I almost deleted a weapon I was saving for a future video, and then some weapons I accidentally did delete because I wasn't paying attention. Yes, that was my fault and I should have been paying attention, but had we had a locking and unlocking system, 
then worrying about that wouldn't be an issue. Now let's go ahead and talk about the story. And I'm gonna say this up front. The story could have been better and longer. The seventh sanctum could have been less creepy when she laughed, like dead ass. Raise your hand if you actually thought that the seventh sanctum was evil because of her trying to grab all the ethereum. I'm still raising my hand. <laughs> it kind of made us think that she was going to betray us a few times. The sanctum could have actually gave us access to other rooms other than the training room. But not just that. What about side quests that are not part of the story, but specific to epic or legendary loot that you can only get in one area with some kind of handicap to make it challenging or even a puzzle that you had to solve in order to access that area? Or what about an area that had that type of loot that required one or two other people to actually help you to open? I mean, there are an endless possibilities on how the devs could have taken this route. And the last thing that I will talk about when it comes to weapons and valor plates are skins. As of this video, you only get the most customization of skins if you had bought the Ascended Edition of Godfall. With the Ascended Edition of the game, you were given a gold and silver skin for the Silvermane, Phoenix, and Greyhawk valor plates an orange skin for the vertical valor plate, and a red skin for the Typhon valor plate. Other than that, we got nothing for skins in the game. And yes, I am kind of excluding the gold weapon pack, the gold shield, and the gold royal banner in Zodiac Knight lobby title as well. However, I'm sure there are many people out there working on their own skins for all of the valor plates on the PC version of the game, which I'm cool with if you could do it, just as long as whatever you change doesn't give you more of an advantage than other players. Speaking of all the other players, let's talk about matchmaking. As you may know, there is currently no matchmaking in Godfall at all, but this is because all of the different worlds, fighting, etc., that you get into is scaled to how many people are in the party and their current level. And this is actually done so that the game won't be too intense on the player and make them feel overwhelmed. The issue with this is sometimes you make friends by meeting people in game. I have actually met a lot of people that I consider family that are my friends that I had actually met through matchmaking in different games. So there definitely is a positive to matchmaking. One thing that I would like to see in Godfall for the future is either a 2v2 deathmatch or 3v3 objective PvP. I feel that a deathmatch more than 2v2 would just be a little too much with everyone's abilities going off all at the same time, and that a 3v3 is great, but it has to be objective based in order to win, otherwise it's just gonna get boring. And it probably would be kind of hard to decide if bringing PvP to Godfall would be a good thing or not. But I definitely feel like the devs should have at least a testing group to actually see if this would be a good idea that could come to the game. Let me ask you guys a question, and let's have a heart to heart moment. Have you ever finished a mission in Godfall just to wait for the timer to go down to zero, and while you were waiting, just be either looking around, twirling in circles, destroying pots, trying to kill as many enemies before being pulled back into the sanctum, or my favorite, Wish that you can do an emo while you actually wait. Right now, a few buttons on the PlayStation 5 controller do nothing by themselves, except wait to be pressed by accident or in conjunction with another button. I mean, an emo would be nice. And even on a PC, you have so many extra keys to press that you can do an emote with. I don't know about you. I really feel like emotes would be a nice addition to the game. That's just me. And last but not least, what about lobby titles? Once again, if you did not buy the Ascended Edition of Godfall, you do not have a lobby title. The Ascended Edition came with the Zodiac Knight lobby title. We don't even know how to change it. So what's the point of even having one? You know, <laughs> especially when everybody else who actually bought the Ascended Edition got the same lobby title. How are you going to be unique with the same thing that everyone else has? Missions? or dungeons specifically for lobby titles, definitely could be a thing. This could have been a rant. This could have been a whole bunch of good ideas that the developers could actually use further on down the line. 
And after all of this talk of me this entire time on what should be changed or what should come to the game, I ask you the same question. What do you think Godfall is missing or what do you think you wish Godfall actually had? Comment down below and let me know all of your thoughts because I definitely want to have a discussion about this. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one.